Uh, but Wes was born and raised in Knoxville, Tennessee. He graduated from Webb High School and Duke University. Uh, he grew up playing at Willow Creek Country Club and his current instructor is local teacher Brad Rose. Uh, he turned professional last year and actually Monday qualified into the new Sentinel Open. Uh, his best finish this season was T11 at the TPC at Stoneberry Classic. And uh, he's made three cuts on the tour this season. Wes, you grew up playing at Willow Creek, and I imagine one of your dreams was to play in the new Sentinel Open. Talk about your experience last year, Monday qualifying into the event, and then actually playing on Thursday and Friday. Yeah, I mean, it was a great experience. Um, you know, back when it was the, I guess, the Hogan Tour, they used to host the event out at Willow Creek where I play now. So um, having that, you know, to draw back on was pretty cool, a pretty cool experience for me. But I think more than anything, last year's tournament, you know, gave me a lot of confidence going through, going through Q School, and um, you know, it meant a whole lot to me to be playing in it. If I felt like, you know, when I played out there, I belonged out there, so or I belong out here, so it meant a lot to me, and it was it was really good for my confidence. I feel like um, you have conditional status on our tour, which means, you know, based on on numbers, you're in some weeks, you're you're not in other weeks. Talk a little bit about. How that, how difficult that can be sometimes, not knowing if you're playing in the next event or not. Yeah, it's hard. Um, Monday qualifiers are brutal. I mean, <laughs> just the odds aren't very good. There's only 14 guys in, and I don't know, 200 some people trying. So that's tough. But um, you know, it's been a good experience for me learning how to how to kind of deal with that. I know that if I play well, then it'll all take care of itself. Um, it is interesting, but. I mean, I don't know. I kind of put myself in that position. If I'd have played a little bit better out of Q school, I wouldn't have to deal with it. But it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's been fun. It's been it's been good getting used to the travel this year, and I've I've enjoyed it so far. But yeah, the Monday qualifiers and you know conditional status is not not the most fun. <laughs> All right, you played collegiately at Duke. Talk about that decision. Why you decided to go there? Um, well, my dad's side of the family is from Durham, uh, North Carolina. So we'd been, I'd grown up going to basketball games there all my life. And so I was a huge Duke basketball fan and Duke fan. Um, and, you know, education was always important to me, really important to my parents. They'd stress that to me at a really young age. So that I felt like it was a great fit for me, you know, both academically and athletically. So I think it ended up working out pretty well. It was hard. School was hard, but I think, uh, you know, going there and graduating there in four years and playing golf is kind of, it's been really good for me, especially, you know, life after college. It's meant a lot to me, so it was good. Great. Uh, Davis Love likes to, or, or makes reference that he introduced Michael Jordan to golf and gambling to some extent, I guess. You got any Duke basketball players that, that you, you brought into the golf world or anybody you were friends with from the basketball program? No, I had a couple classes with, with some of the basketball players, but um, I was never really good friends with him. I actually I saw Michael Jordan around uh, at our golf course a couple of times because he used to take lessons, or I guess he still does, from the head pro out there, Ed Ibargwin. Um But no, I never really, you know, I was friends with some of the guys. I'd say hey to him around campus when I saw him, but I could never get any of them to come play golf. <laughs> uh, any Coach K stories? Were you ever around Coach K? He's a legend around there. He, that's for sure. He pretty much runs the school, but. I I never saw him once in my four years there walking around campus. <laughs> you know, I'd see him at the basketball games, but I never saw him walking around. So, unless there was a TV camera with him, <laughs> so I never really got to meet him. But I wished I had, I guess. All right. Well, lastly, second half of the season coming up, uh, big tournament in Columbus this week. What do you need to do uh, moving forward to ensure that that you get where you want to be by the end of the year with your golf game? Um. I think as far as statistically, you know, I really need to improve my par five scoring. I'm not, I'm pretty far down the list there. I think, I think I've played somewhere around 20 some rounds this year on, on the web.com tour and I'm a cumulative like 11 under on the par fives, which is not getting it done. So I feel like if I can play the par fives a little bit better, I'll, I'll give myself a chance to, uh, you know, play a lot better and then hopefully get into contention a few times here in the second half of the season. So, All right, we're certainly wishing, wishing the best for you, and we know that we'll see you in Knoxville for sure. Thank you very much, Wes, for being here.